When I was a small child, my mother ran a mail route and delivered the mail to the Badlands National Park headquarters. Every morning I got to wake up and take a drive down through the Badlands and see all the different animals and the ranches, the farms, meet all the different people. It was pretty special for me. What is your favorite thing about that park? I love the views. It doesn't make any difference. You can go spring, summer, winter, fall. It's always pretty. If it's a dry year, it's pretty. If it's a wet year, it's pretty. You go down after a rain, it's exceptionally gorgeous. After a, a light snowfall, it's beautiful. It's where I'll be buried. <laughs> it's my favorite place on earth. So what are some of the wildlife that you're fond of seeing down in the park? Everything from striped gophers and prairie dogs all the way up to the buffalo, everything in between. My mother worked as a park ranger for 17 years in the Badlands National Park, and when she passed, it was such a big part of our lives that we had an engraving of an antelope, a prairie dog, and a buffalo put on her headstone. That's how much we appreciate the wildlife. When I was a little kid, my folks had an old convertible, and we used to drive down in the summertime. We'd go down about every night and listen to the coyotes howl, watch the sunset, watch the moon come up. It's a harsh environment, but it's one that you come to love. It's not for everybody. I've heard people say, what in the world? Why would you ever go back? That's the most godforsaken place that I've ever seen, and I couldn't wait to get out of there and other people say that they can't wait to come back and see it again when they have more time. As a kid, we drove through here and my dad would say, yep, there's the Badlands. And it wasn't until you brought me up here 10 years ago that I actually realized you could go down in the Badlands. It wasn't just something you would drive by. People need to know that it's a park to go through and to walk around in. And some people love living by the ocean. I love the fact that we live by such a beautiful park that we can go to at any time. As a kid growing up, I mean, we always felt blessed that we had it. I mean, it was kind of like our own personal playground, so to speak. The influence that the park has had on my life has been pretty substantial. It's a big part of who I am, and I don't ever remember a time not being around it, I guess. Even when I moved away, it was always our favorite place to come visit. We live in a wonderland and sometimes we feel like we don't get to share it with enough people.